Hello and welcome to my little show video about my Final Fantasy collection. This is an example about some unusual games, one not typical in the series. Just a little show. This is the Mystic Quid Legend, the PAL version, of course. This is the Game Boy version of Mystic Quest. This is Final Fantasy Tactics for the GBA, the Kingdom Hearts series 1 and 2. Chocobo Racing, don't know why I have it. Uh, this is a Kingdom Hearts game for the DS. I don't have all Kingdom Hearts games. Um, this is the DVD of Final Fantasy uh, series. This is also a Kingdom Hearts game. And this is the Final Fantasy movie. So, now we're coming to the original series. We start with the first one, Final Fantasy Origins. This is the PAL version. It contains Final Fantasy 1 and 2. Final Fantasy 1 appeared 1987 in Japan and 1990 in USA, but never in Europe. Thank Square, thank Nintendo, thank you all. The next one is Final Fantasy 3. And Final Fantasy 3 was only released in Japan, and so this is the only PAL release for the DS. Uh, so never got a chance to get in the NES or some other systems. The next is the Final Fantasy Atology. This is Final Fantasy 4 and Final Fantasy 5. Final Fantasy 4 was released in the USA as Final Fantasy 2 but never in Europe. Today now we have an add-on for Final Fantasy IV which is for Heroes of Light. V, maybe the best Final Fantasy ever is Final Fantasy VI. This was released in USA as Final Fantasy III. Never in Europe again. The next one of course, should be very famous as Final Fantasy VII. Left as a PC version and the right as a PlayStation version. Considered as, best, as one of the best Final Fantasy games ever. And this was one reason to me to buy a PS1. Speaking of Final Fantasy VII. The game is good. But do we really need... Wii's add-ons, Dirge of Cerberus uh, is a game nobody wanted. Uh, the Final Fantasy Avon Children DVD, the movie is okay, but no, uh, special. Crisis Core for the PSP with a background story of Zack. Uh, I recommend, uh, recommend, uh, recommend that. Um, this is a really good game. I think this is one for the nicest game for the PSP. So this is a good game, but we all consider Final Fantasy VII as a great game, but do we really need these spin-offs? I don't think so. This is Final Fantasy VIII. Spoonie makes a lot of fun of it. It's a good game, but has a lot of flaws. Um, I think the original story with Squall is okay, but the Laguna story is simply uninteresting bullshit. Final Fantasy IX. A lot of people hate this title, but this title is good. Okay, the, the people, the, f the characters are very strange, very uh, manga-nesque, uh, but it's okay, it's a good game. Now we're entering the idiot zone. Final Fantasy X. The first Final Fantasy, uh, it looks great, it has great audio, but it's not a good game. Not by any standards. I hate Titus at all. And to make it perfect, of course, we need to see X2. And X2, maybe uh, something like a magical anime, I think is better than, than 10. It's strange, but I think it's better. But Square makes it perfect. Final Fantasy XI, the massively multiplayer online role-playing game nobody ever wanted. 
and this is absolutely shit. You don't need that, not at any cost. And now we have Star Wars in the Final Fantasy universe. Also, nobody needed that title. This is Final Fantasy XII. It's a, the game is okay, the, the battle system is nice, uh, but I don't think you need that. It's also a game, I don't think, why? It's, it doesn't make sense. And of course, we need a sequel. Revenant Wings, the sequel of Final Fantasy XII. Here it is. And now we're entering Final Fantasy XIV. It's a nice game. It's a very nice game. It's great looking. Maybe it's the avatar of a Final Fantasy series, but why this gameplay? It's linear. It's damn linear. After I completed this title now, and I don't think why I hated it. After 25 hours, 50 hours, it changed a little bit. Okay, we all know that, but it doesn't make a good title. It's it's very strange scripting, plotting. It's not a Final Fantasy by any means. And uh, um, looking at uh, looking at the, the, the videos about uh, Final Fantasy 14 too, I think it's a better game than this. And Square make it again. The next massively multiplayer online roleplay game again. And 14 is also crap as hell. Skip it. Please skip it. Well, there are some more games. <laughs> if you ever wanted a beat em up with Cloud, here it is. Of course, the Decidea series. It's okay if you are a fan, you have good characters, it's a nice concept, it's really okay. The Crystal Chronicle series. Also a series nobody really wanted. This game is okay, this game is really strange, and uh, Echoes of Time, no, you don't need that. And the last in the series, Final Fantasy Tactics. This is an awesome game. Uh, I know I have Tactics Advance, but this is the better game. This is also on the same level of Final Fantasy VI. And if you ever like something like Fire Emblem or something, this is your game. And just for the merchandising, I got it, I think, from Comic Con. This is the Final Fantasy IX Tetra Master card game. You wanted ever Tetra Master to play with your own human friends? Here is your chance. But why really you want it? It's beyond me. Um, this is my whole collection. Thanks for watching again. And next week, maybe I'll show something about the systems. Who knows? Who cares? See you. So, this is a this is a little add-on. I missed that. I also have Final Fantasy Crystal Bearers. It's an action RPG mixture. It's more like a movie game, but it's it's okay. This is this is not so special, but this is uh, worth to have it. So, that's all.